Good day YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my ham radio call sign is N4VFR. Today I'm going to install my Sirius Airband 3 element Yagi on the roof. Okay, we're on the roof now. So after a week of thinking about this, where I'm going to locate that antenna, I'm going to place it right here. That used to be an existing mount for my inverted L that I made. Because if I were going to put it there on this pole here, it's going to be really close to this wire right here. That's my 40 meter horizontal loop right there. So I don't want to be interacting when I'm on 40 meters transmitting. Same goes for this pole right here. See how that insulator is drooping down? It's going to be interacting with my transmission on 40 meters. So the best bet is going to be here on my nine foot pole. It's going to be above this wire here and I'll be facing it to the northeast. With regards to the coax length, I'm going to go ahead and try to run the shortest path through and straight down to the shack. So it's just under 100 feet of coax I got here. I'm going to have this horizontally polarized just like this. Okay. Um, you have to take a note here. There's a this side up uh, is indicated here. The reason for that is there is a drain hole here on the um, the bottom. So when you have one of these, you gotta make sure you orient it correctly. If not, then you'll you'll have collection of water inside that tube. Okay, I don't use N-type connectors. I mean, they're good for VHF, UHF. Okay, put that in. That rubber boot that used to be here, since I have this connector already on it, I try to heat it up and uh, fit it through and it ripped it up. So I just throw that out. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to wrap this up and uh, insulate this or weatherproof it. And I got some 3M electrical tape here. Now it's time to uh, raise the antenna. The orientation is correct. So we are here on the end of the connector. I have a barrel connector and I'm gonna connect the uh, another end of that coax that we just uh, fixed the connectors the end I'll leave the video above so you guys can take a look at at that okay barrel connectors connected I'm gonna go ahead and insulate it as well like I did on the other one
So this other end, it's approximately 36 feet, 20 feet down, and then five feet to the shack. I just uh, straightened out my coax and running it down. So I have the Sirius antenna mounted nine feet up on the third floor on our roof here pointing towards the northeast. That's where the uh, airport is located. It's approximately 10 nautical miles from my location. So I gotta go down and uh, finish routing that coax cable to the shack. So it goes over that, the edge there down to the junction box. This is the access to my shack. Here's the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push this through. I hope it fits. This is the ATIS. This is our Temerlin. Temperature 25 degrees, 2.13 degrees, QNH 30 at FMO 11. Rapid lights out of service. An initial contact of us to have Yankee information on board. Love is your uncle. Hey, if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe, leave me a like and a comment. It motivates me to make more videos for you guys. And if you'd like to see more of Sophie, leave a comment, say, hey, put more videos of Sophie in there. You know, I wanted her to get into the ham radio and also getting her, um, getting some knowledge for her while she's still young. She hasn't had her license yet, but maybe in the future, maybe perhaps. So my name is Darren and my ham radio call sign is and for BFR. Thank you for watching. I like to say 73s and have a great day. Bye. Chaka.